Well, thank you, media, for being here and for your hard work to cover this tournament. Uh, it's been a, it's, it's just been a spectacular tournament. First of all, my hat's off to Oregon State. They were the better team tonight. They earned it. Uh, Scott's done a great job with that program. As I was just walking over here, I thought to myself, you know, what they, how they took la the last couple tournament experiences and turned the weaknesses that got exposed in that into strengths and applied them to their championship run this weekend uh, was really admirable. You could tell those young women were different. You could tell they were uh, absolutely focused on whatever it took to get what they wanted. And hats off to them, they earned it. It makes me think about our team. And I'm really confident that you will see us learning some really valuable lessons that this loss hurts right now. But uh, it will change us. I have great confidence in my two captains to my right. And I just know that this will, this will change us. And uh, we will be back. And uh, we will be different. Thank you. We have two microphones, one on each side. And again, please use player names and wait for the mic. Go ahead. Corey, obviously you guys aren't done playing, so yeah. how do you channel this? In, instead of having it shake your confidence, how do you channel it into something useful? Well, I think, you know, it's hard for me to tell yet, but I, I don't think it really it shook our confidence as much. Is that was, we, we did not come out and execute our game plan in the first half. And when you don't come out and execute your game plan, that's what happens against a Elite Eight level team like that or above. I mean, you can't do that. And we've got to stay committed to who we are. This one game does not define who we are as a team. And we've had too many amazing experiences and earned confidence. That's why confidence can't be given, because it also can't be taken away that fast. We've earned way too much confidence over this body of work of our whole season uh, to have it taken away. We know we're in a great position to make a really good run in the NCAA tournament, and we fully expect to be there and to do so. Um, so I, I really don't think it's shaken our confidence. Uh, we did not play Bruin basketball. You know. Oregon State's a really great team. They have one weakness, and that is handling pressure. And we didn't come out and force that weakness to come to bear in the first half. And you know, it, we held them to 25 points in the second half, break, playing the way we know to play, playing to our strengths. So you know, Coach Jenny made up a great made a great point in the locker room. She said, um, "Remember when Cal lost to us in the semifinals, and then later that same NCAA tournament went, run went to a Final Four." That's because it didn't shake their confidence. It taught them, and it made them better in between the Pac-12 tournament and the NCAAs. And I fully expect that our team will be better from this experience. Howie. Howie Stahl, Sports Press Northwest. Uh, Jordan and Kerry, both you. Uh, what, what's your take on what happened in the first half? I don't think anybody foresaw that happening. <laughs> Kerry, going to start? Um, or Jordan, thank you. Well, I don't think none of us expected that to happen. Uh, that wasn't the game plan. Um, you got to give credit to Oregon State. They executed really well. And I guess we came out and we weren't as focused as we should have been. We forgot some things in the first half, which you can't do when you're coming into a championship game. So um, credit to Oregon for executing really well. And they were red hot in the first half. Um, I think they were 7 for 14 from the three-point line, which that can't happen in the first half. And against that kind of team, um, we were just lackadaisical and we didn't have enough focus. So, um, yeah. Yeah. On top of what Jordan said, just, uh, focus. We, we had plans to come out and trap and really pressure them and we didn't get into that. And, um, we can't just turn it on in the fourth quarter of the second half. Uh, so it has to be a full game against a team that, that's that good. Jordan, you were able to get going there in the fourth quarter, but in the first three quarters, it looked like uh, Gabrielle Hansen really made things difficult for, for you on the court and uh, trying to get off shots. So what was she doing specifically to, to make things tough? I mean, she was trying to take away my right hand. Um, I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, when it comes to me personally, I don't I feel like you know, she did the best job she could, but I just felt like I still had a slight advantage over her. Um, I mean, that's I mean that's all I can say. I mean, mm -hmm. I have nothing else about that. So. 
I don't think that I don't think it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I honestly thought Jordan got into the seams. It's the backside and the rotations that made it difficult for Jordan. I don't think it was the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Is she doesn't want to say that, but she got past Gabrielle Hansen, and Gabrielle Hansen's a phenomenal defender and their stopper, and she does a great job. It doesn't take it away from them. But the reason that it was hard for Jordan was not because of a one-on-one -on -one thing. It was their team defense, and obviously Ruth that back there. It's it's a different ball game, you know. Um, so. Uh, Credit to Gabrielle Hansen, she's really good, but it was their team defense that slowed Jordan down, not an individual. Corey, that box score, Oregon State's big three, if you want to call them that, had a pretty substantial night. Is it just tough because they're all three such talented players to sort of hope that you're going to be able to shut one down? Well, I think we had confidence. I mean, even up there at their place on their senior night, I mean, we really competed for a long time. And, and then after we lost Casey, we sort of had a tough time, but then we battled back. And so I don't, I don't think you can expect to shut all of them down. I think you can't do it I, can't, I think you had to force some other people to take some hard shots, and we didn't do that enough. Um, a lot of the times when Wisner and Weiss got free, it's off of an offensive rebound. So give Hunter credit. She was running down offensive rebounds, and then we were out of position. Then they got it out to the three-point line. So, you know, I, I don't think you can shut them down, but I really think you can slow them up. But they're a very big rhythm team. They know how to find their big three, as you called them. And we had to disrupt their rhythm. We knew that if they were in a rhythm where we could find them in stride in the way that they um, run, especially their player-to-player -player sets, that that would not be to our advantage. Um, but they're a really good team, and I think they play their roles really well. I think the ones who, you know, Gabrielle Hansen maybe not be their leading scorer, but she has the toughest. She had Plum all night last night. She has Jordan Canada all night tonight. I mean, give her credit. They play their roles. Hunter wasn't their prolific scorer in the first half, but those kids don't get off those threes if she doesn't get them a second shot opportunities. And so, um, you know, I, I think it's their team work and their commitment to playing their roles that, that really allow the big three to be as successful as they are. Corey, you mentioned the, the weaknesses that they had last year are now strengths. What specifically, from, from your standpoint, do you see as being a strength now for them? Well, I think more it was just the mentality and confidence. I mean, I think they are so consistent on the defensive end. Um, they play scattering reports really, really well. But I think it was more a sort of there's just a, a different kind of confidence and swagger about them there was no fear that i think they played tight last year i mean I, they would know I'm, I'm a big believer that you don't know about another team unless you're in their practices and film sessions every day so it would be speculation on my part but um, i just noticed a different level of confidence there was sort of a calm about their very business-like approach um, even after the game uh, last night as i was scouting it and they watched you could just tell that it wasn't um, a huge deal that they were that was the next thing they needed to do and now it was on to the next step they need to I thought they had a very business-like approach they had a good balance of being loose and having fun um, but also knowing exactly what their job was I think it was a mentality more than a skill we all preface this question by knowing I'm sure you feel the same way about your team but do you look at the construction of that Oregon State team and see a team that could make a final four run Yes. I mean, I think you look at, you know, going to Notre Dame without Weiss and having losing on one possession game. Absolutely. Um, you know, I think that, you know, they definitely have that level of potential. You know, the NCAA tournament's a lot about matchups and, you know, who you get paired up against. Um, but I also, I feel the same way about our team. And I feel the same way. I mean, there's just a lot of really, really good teams. I mean, you look at what Arizona State did last year in the tournament and then, you know, bringing almost everybody back. I expect them to make a deep run. You know, I sure wouldn't want to meet up with Washington. You know, I'll, I mean, I just think the conference, when you're the number one conference in the country, anybody, you know, there's anyone can make a Final Four run because we've been prepared so well. We've had to play at such a high level for so long. And obviously, we've played Notre Dame, you know, to an overtime game and had chances to win it. We played South Carolina to a one possession game. So I, I really believe that um, I give my hats off to Oregon State, and I think they proved that they're at that level, and people should be make sure they're paying attention to them. Um, but I really, really like my team, and I believe in their hearts, how they will respond to this, and that we will be different. We'll take one more question in the back. 
Corey, just to clarify, when you talk about Oregon State looking like they played with more confidence and swagger, are you talking about the whole season or just the tournament? Mostly the, the tournament, but I think it built, I don't think it just happened at the tournament. I think that all the talks surrounding them that they'd had early exits and I just thought they handled that really, really well. I mean, you know, it's easy. I'm a big believer that performance equals potential minus interferences. And sometimes all that noise and talk can become an interference. And I thought they really just processed it very, very well. They knew they were very focused. And they weren't going to let anything or anyone disrupt that focus. And, and I think that's the lesson that I want to be a good teacher with to our team is us coming into practice and having a focus and not letting anything disrupt us from that focus. And then we'll be more ready to execute game, plan, game plans come NCAA tournament time.